Gregorian chant, the soul of sacred music, and the body of the music you'll hear on our program, Sacred Soundings. Music to deepen your faith beyond measure. I'm Al Romano, your host for Sacred Soundings, on listener-supported St. Gabriel Catholic Radio AMA 20, and streaming live on stgabrielradio.com. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. One writer says that the day referred to in that verse of Psalm 118 sounds so full of joy and so surprisingly bright and beautiful that it must have been unlike any other day the psalmist had ever seen, an unexpected heavenly gift from the hand of God. No day fits that description better than Easter. So we begin today with the Easter at Ephesus album by the Benedictines of Mary, Queen of Apostles. We'll hear three chants, all with the same words from Psalm 118. The first is in English with the title, This is the Day. The next two, with the same title in Latin, Haec Dies, are four and eight-part Latin settings of the verse. They're followed by the hymn, Christ the Lord hath risen. Thank you. 
You're listening to Sacred Soundings, a production of St. Gabriel Catholic Radio, AMA 20, and I'm your host, Al Romano. We just heard selections from the CD, Easter at Ephesus, by the Benedictines of Mary, Queen of Apostles. Now, tracks from the CD, Gare Amos, by the Scola Cantorum of the Dominican House of Studies in Washington. We'll hear The Right Hand of the Lord, O Spim Miram, O Wonderful Hope, Anima Christi, Soul of Christ, and Adoramus Te Christi, We Adore You, Christ. No. 
You're listening to Sacred Soundings, a production of St. Gabriel Catholic Radio, AMA 20. The selections you just heard are from the CD Gary Amos, celebrating 800 years of Dominican life, by the Scola Cantorum of the Dominican House of Studies in Washington. We return now to the Benedictines of Mary, Queen of Apostles, for our closing set. We'll hear, Alleluia, ye sons and daughters, the clouds of night are passed away, and Jesus Christ is risen today.
listening to Sacred Soundings, a production of St. Gabriel Catholic Radio, AM820. The last pieces we played are from the CD, Easter at Ephesus, by the Benedictines of Mary, Queen of Apostles. Creighton University's online ministries website recently offered two reflections on the well-known gospel story of the disciples on the road to Emmaus. I blended parts of both into a condensed version to share with you. The two disciples making that seven-mile trudge to Emmaus were having a very bad day. They were followers of Jesus and were coming from Jerusalem after the crucifixion. They were so filled with pain, disenchantment, and confusion that they didn't recognize Jesus as he caught up with them. Often in life we get so caught up in our own problems and difficulties we don't recognize Jesus walking with us. When the travelers finally recognize him in the breaking of the bread, they say, Were not our hearts burning within us while he spoke to us on the way, and opened the scriptures for us? Then they set out at once and returned to Jerusalem to share the incredible news. Pope Francis said the two became witnesses of the hope that is Christ, because they met him. He also observed that Jesus is always here with us, in his word, and in the Eucharist, and journeys with us everywhere. If we open our eyes to these truths, we can recognize Jesus, open our lives to his loving embrace, and feel the burning for him in our hearts. Then we can set aside our own problems and concerns, and like the travelers in the story, go excitedly to share the good news of Christ's love and mercy with the poor, the hungry, the sick, and the lonely, with everyone who needs to hear it. That's when we stand side by side with Jesus, looking together at those in need are waiting for our love. And that is where the real joy of Easter is waiting for us. I'm Al Romano, your host for Sacred Soundings on St. Gabriel Catholic Radio AM820. Join us Wednesdays at noon and Sundays at 9.30 a.m. and 2.30 p.m. for more Sacred Soundings, music to deepen your faith beyond measure. A prayer for our listeners. Father in heaven, send forth your Holy Spirit as springs of living water to renew and refresh the listeners of AM820. Redeem our lives and free us from the past so all is made new as we live out the holiness we are being called to. Give us a hunger for your word and for prayer so we will be everything you desire us to be. Steep us in a baptism of love so we are secure and aware of our dignity as the children of God. So on fire with love for our God, we are equipped for the work that lies ahead. Draw us into that intimate union with the triune God that will satisfy our deepest longings and give us a hope that cannot disappoint. 